Hi folks, and welcome to more Dominion Seaside gameplay. I have a 5-2 here, and I don't like it. <laughs> I wonder how how I was supposed to open here. Basically, the question is, do you take the do you take the hag, or do you just think like, okay, we have Luca out here, so we can ignore the hag? Not the whole lot of stuff is going on on this board, to be honest. Uh, it's a single gain board, right? There is no plus buy, no gaining, no... Oh, hey, hey, opponent goes for pirate ship. That's good. I'm not sure I want the native village. Let's just get a pearl diver. And uh, I... Honestly, 5-2 is, like, really bad here. I would I would, I would, would probably get something like cut purse lookout, or maybe hag lookout. Uh, I would probably get a hag. But... Um, Given that I was not able to buy like any, mm, I I think it's going to be like super low economy here uh, if I just get the hack. So uh, here that should definitely a lookout, especially after my opponent taking a hack, and I'll get another one. Uh, they're gonna help me a bit with trash in the coppers, but still not enough. Uh, I'll get the bazaar here. So, bazaar is going to be a bit better for me than usual because uh, I would I would like to have a, just an extra, uh, just a little bit of extra economy because of my opponent got uh, pirate ship attacks. If they if they take like more pirate ship, um, okay, there goes my coppers. So I might uh, get some bazaars and some cut purses but uh, not to not to worry about my ship to be honest get sewer uh i think uh given that they don't have a lookout i'll go ahead and grab the hag here i'm not not having the best lookout draws but here at least i can get uh, trash this curse So on this single on the single gain board, I kind of uh, it's it feels kind of weird to make the choice of whether you get the bazaar if you hit five all the way you get the caravan because the caravan is kind of you know it, you would like to draw cards but you know you also need some economy and it's really those I mean this choice is not very uh, clear to me to be honest. I think I'll go with bazaar. Um, Oh my god, will I ever draw the lookout without any states? <laughs> In hand. I think I think it was like the third time I see this exact hand during this game. Alright, at least I, I know we bottom deck this copper with a pearl diver later. I'm getting like all the pearl divers. Um, my opponent in, is in desperate need of second pirate ship, I think. I'll go ahead and grab a second lookout, so that it will start. Uh, they will start trashing my good cards. Ah, uh, sure. Get the hack. Get the lookout. All right. Um, I've seen the whole lot of junk down there. Probably let's play the bazaar first. Well, uh, it turned out to be okay. Discard. And let's get another cut purse. I have uh, quite a few bazaars, and cut purse is a bit, a bit better in terms of economy. And also, since they they are not really trashing the whole lot, uh, the uh, the attack is going to hurt. Let's trash the scares. Uh, I'll just play the hack. So the the curses are running low. I'm not sure if it's worth it to play the Pearl Diver before the lookout because on the uh, one good thing uh, I can do is that uh, if I reveal a, a bad card, I can tr top deck it and guarantee that I lookout treasures something bad. On the other hand, if I reveal a good card, it would kind of suck to uh, to bottom deck it. Let's play the lookout first. Okay, uh, I won't be able to play both Hag and Cut Purse, so probably let's just discard the Hag. 
That's okay. Uh, let's get a caravan. So I think I have a couple of bazaars down there because I haven't seen, I haven't seen any in the last turn, and I definitely have at least two. So I'm I am not going to play this lookout blindly. Uh yeah. So yeah, it would have been a bad idea to play it blindly. Uh, but now I think I can play both of those. Ah, oh, okay, that uh, that went good. Just another bazaar. So we are pretty much trashed down at this point. Let's trash this curse. Sure, top deck the lookout. I'll get the silver. Yeah, as you can see, pirate ship. That's pirate ship for you. I, I mean, if the, if you would imagine that uh, pirate ship strategy is a thing, uh, I think they are not. Uh, my opponent is not playing this strategy uh, at its best here because I would imagine if you if you would try to do this pirate ship thing, which is not a thing you would uh, get at least two of them and try and also thin thin down more aggressively and try to play your fire ship uh, fire ships as uh, you know as frequent as possible let's try to trash this estate uh, yeah now we can all right and that uh, there goes the last curse. So uh, it's it's uh, since we drew the deck, well almost. Uh, it's nice to notice uh, what cards, uh, what bad cards we want to get rid of, and it's uh, my second lookout. I don't need it anymore. A sea hag and a copper, and I think um, I would benefit from getting a gold here, and we'll just try and go for you know for provinces, and islands might help a bit with the green. So, uh, uh, sadly, I, I drew the whole lot of my worst cards in hand. So, the only card I want to get rid of is a hag. So, uh, we need to check for that. Uh, sure, let's get that. I am not going to play this lookout because you know, it's only one third of a chance that I hit the card that I want to trash. Um, let's get the another gold here. Probably would be the best. Yeah, the only reason you uh, you wouldn't get uh, more, you wouldn't try to get more money uh, earlier on this board is Sea Hack, because uh, you kind of want to, you don't want to be in a situation when you are getting overrun with the curses. But now the curses are gone, so we can... Uh, uh, Alright, uh, so in these five cards there is a second lookout and the copper, so that's a good chance I get one of those. And yeah, we can hit the lookout. And uh, we'll just buy the prawns. My opponent still has five curses and uh, most of the coppers, so I'm not too worried. Uh, that's uh, I I'm I ain't gonna play this lookout this turn, so I'll just bottom deck it. All right. So now I think we we're just going to you know buy province per turn, and when we can't, we'll just get islands. So my opponent discarded my hag and Karen. So if I can draw uh, like everything i think it's not possible for me i don't have enough draw but i know that sea hag is in the discard there uh, do i still have the copper i think i i, I haven't trashed my last copper right that's bottom deck the gold it's okay yeah copper is still here so yeah as you can see i 
uh, I've uh, banned some car some cards because uh, we played the whole lot of boards with uh, Ghost Ship, Wharf, Outpost, Ambassador. But Seaside stripped out of its best, strongest cards. Uh, this board is a bit plain, to be honest. Um, sure. Okay. We are having quite nice draws, as you know, as the buying for buying promises. So, one of those five cards is a hag. I, I ain't gonna... Well, maybe they're gonna play the pirate ship and we can get a better picture of what's going on. Or like, the, maybe they'll discard my hag with their hag. Oh, discard... So yeah, they discarded the Karen. Uh, okay, sadly... <laughs> sadly, I drew the hag here. But, oh well, it's okay. Uh, let's uh, let's get an island. Uh, it might getting another gold might be simply better, given I I am not really in the need of uh, getting additional points because I'm so so much uh, so far ahead in points. But um, island is is okay here, I would say. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, it's an okay draw, well, didn't get up to France, but... Uh, well, Cut Purse didn't do the whole lot here. <laughs> That's fine. So... Still have this copper down there. Hmm, but I ain't gonna risk it, obviously. Uh, I'm just gonna get more of those islands. Oh, hey, Pirate Ship gets one of my golds. All right. Uh, sure. Yeah. Let's top deck this island. And at this point, I'll just get a silver. So I get uh, two of my bronzes already out of the deck. My opponent gets the penultimate bronze. I should be able to. Oh hey, yes, I can, I can trash this hack. Let's discard the card first, and I think I have it in hand. Uh, yeah, now I certainly do. So that's it. All right. So thanks for watching and see you in the next one.